since I was born, I was an extremely curious and inquisitive child. And I think that, you know, my parents were always complaining, like, stop asking, stop asking. It just is the way it is. And science for me gave me a way of being able to ask freely. When you look at a Monet painting, right, if you're very, very close to it, it's, it's absurd, right? It's all these disconnect points that have no meaning, no sense. However, if you go back, back, and distance yourself from it, then, then it starts making sense. The picture starts coming about, and you realize, oh my god, it's a lake, there's people here, and all of a sudden it, it, it has meaning. And so the same thing happens with nature. When you look at all these little atoms and electrons one by one, it all seems nonsensical and disconnected. However, as you look at the collection of them to acting together, then you realize what's really going on. Physics is not some crazy, complicated topic that sh should just be, you know, stay in the school board. It's actually something that's everywhere. I mean, if you want to wear high heels, the rules that apply to high heels have everything to do with physics, right? I mean, there's gravity, there's friction with the floor. The way we walk with high heels it has everything to do with the balance of Newtonian forces. There's a balance between the force of gravity that everyone knows is what keeps us standing up in this planet and the force of the ground. Because remember Newton said for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So every time I put a force on the ground, the ground puts that same force back on me. That's why it's very comfortable to walk with, say, platform or flat shoes, because force, the force gets distributed across this wider area. So all the force that the ground is putting back on me is not passing through this tiny little stiletto heel. So it's extremely strange to us as human beings to live in a kind of world where you know, if I throw a baseball at you, you know, you predict where it's going to fall, the velocity it's going to have, and you know, you kind of, we're used to predicting the world and knowing what our bodies do, gravity, all these laws are very intuitive. However, in the quantum world, a baseball, call it now an, a photon or, or an electron, can actually be in two places at the same time. I mean, how weird is that? It's not that it actually happens, it's that there's a small probability that it happens. And things are no longer things. It's not a ball, it's actually a wave.